Hey, what's going on everybody? For today's edition of Whatever Wednesday, we're going to be taking a look at a couple of Star Wars Black Series figures. Today we have Bo-Katan, Katan, Bo-Katan, Bo and Cosca Reeves from The Mandalorian. They both share pretty much the same body, so I figured I would do them both at the same time. Only subtle differences between them. Of course, the helmets paint is slightly different. Different head sculpts underneath the helmets. And Bo has the double holsters. Where Costco only has the single holster. So yeah, let's take a quick look at Bo first. Helmet's done really, really well. Rangefinder does move down. And when you remove the helmet, had a really nice looking face. Armor's got a little bit of wear and tear on it. Nice dark silver, kind of gun metally. Very nicely painted all around. Her only accessories are the two pistols she comes with, which are always in the holsters for me. Let's go ahead and take a look at those real quick. It's your typical Mandalorian style holsters, or pistols, blasters. A little bit of brown to the handle. Mostly just that cast plastic color. And they do slide right in. And she's got her jetpack, also really well done. Let's take a look at Casca. Pretty much all the same things I just said about Bo, except more blue, which I like her more because her armor is more blue. Although less blue on the jetpack, but I guess if you wanted, you could twist him around, but then it wouldn't really be accurate. Like I said, the one holster on this side, not on this side. And pop off the helmet. You got a very nice Sasha Banks head sculpt. Which is weird because in the package, she of course has her helmet on, so you can't see the face, can't see if the eyes are looking crooked or anything like that. But looks like they did a really good job on her. As for articulation, they're articulated pretty much the same. So let's go ahead and grab her and do it. It looks up that far, down that far. You got your side to side. You got tilt. more tilt you can kind of shift back and forth on the ball peg arms go out that far swivel all the way around not too bad for a single joint then you get your rotation at that joint too. The hands, since both of them are triggers, and they both have the up and down hinge and swivel. Torso 
slightly forward. Not too bad back. Get your rotation there. A little bit of tilt. Legs kick forward that far. Back a little bit. Now that far. Can't you do a Costco Reeves kick? Let's see if we can get her to balance. There you go, she can kick. Got your thigh swivel. Single knee. Not too bad. And you got your swivel there too. Nothing at the boot because you got the swivel at the knee. Ankles go back really far. Forward a little bit because they kind of run into the shin pad. Tilt. And tilt. Now for size comparisons, just got a couple here. We got the Black Series Cara Dune. And the Black Series pretty much Episode 1, Season 1 Mando. I didn't get the Beskar one yet. I really need to find one. That ought to be something I do later. But there they are. They all look really good together. So if you have a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian collection, they're kind of integral, kind of neat. If you can find them, I definitely suggest picking them up. And thank you as always for stopping by. Hope to see you all again. Have a good night.